Hey, hey, this is Music Hacks with Meg. My name is Megan Rogerson Berry, and today I'm going to be telling you about how to transpose or modulate within a score in Sibelius. So hang on to your seats, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of weeks ago I got a question from Sunrise County Arts Institute um, and they wanted to know if I had a hack for uh, transposing or modulating within a score. Because in Sibelius, if you just change the key signature, obviously it doesn't transpose the information that you have on the score automatically. That you have to do uh, using another hack, which I'm going to show you today. Um, I just want to say first off that um, transposing within a score is actually a very useful tool to have, um, especially if you're composing, but also if you're um, transcribing music or if you are um, a, a copyist. Uh, these are very, very useful hacks to have. Um, they save you a lot of time, save you a lot of effort, um, and all you've got to do is uh, know a little bit about music theory in order to make these hacks work effectively. So specifically, you've got to know about key signatures um, and you've got to know about uh, the distance or intervals um, between different um, tonic or root notes within a key signature. So that's the information that you need to know in order to be able to do this successfully. Um, but let's just hop straight on Sibelius and I'm going to show you uh, how to transpose a section of your score within Sibelius. So here we go. Okay, so we're looking at my score here. I've just copied a couple of um, bars from a composition of mine so that I can show you uh, how to transpose. And see, I've kind of repeated it um, three times. The scenario here in our mind would be, we've got a section, uh, we've, we've, we need to transpose it up or down um, in, within our score. This is what, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six bar section. So um, I want to put a minimal amount of effort in here um, to get this done. So what I'm going to do, um, here is the repeated six bar section. What I'm going to do, is it's a two step process. Firstly, um, I'm going to transpose the notes um, up into the key of C. We started in the key of B flat. I'm going to transpose them up into the key of C. You can transpose to whatever you like, um, up, or down. I could transpose down to the key of C um, as well, but I'm going to go up. Um, and the way that I do this, there's a, a keyboard shortcut that you can use for this. Um, that is Shift T uh, for transpose. Or if you head to your note input tab, you can see that there's a big transpose button um, hanging out seven I icons um, from the left. Okay, so seven icons from the left is your transpose button, or you can simply uh, use a keyboard short shortcut, Control T. Okay, uh, firstly, I had highlighted the section that I want to transpose. I better point that out to you. Um, but now I've got my transpose um, window up, um, and I can transpose either the closest up or down um, and let Sibelius decide, or I can specify that I want to transpose up, or I can specify that I want to transpose down. Okay. Um, I can transpose by key or I can transpose by interval. So if I'd like to transpose up a half step or up a whole step, I can choose to do that as well. Um, but I'm going to transpose by key because I know what key I want my piece to go into. Okay, so I'm going to transpose up to C major. I have highlighted the section that I want to transpose. That's very important. Um, so up to C major, I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, uh, Sibelius has transposed my uh, highlighted section, whereas my uh, following repeat of that particular motif uh, has not been transposed. It's still the same. Okay, so that's quite important. But as you can see, when it transposes, uh, I, it's put all the naturals in and additional sharps um, because it hasn't changed the key signature yet. Okay, um, so that's the second part of this process. Once we've transposed the notes, we've got to then add the new key signature. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. Uh, you can go up to uh, notations, the notations tab, and then hit key signature here. Um, and then you can choose C major. Uh, that's one option. Uh, the other option is to uh, use the keyboard shortcut um, for key signature, which is K, uh, and then do the same thing also only transposes or changes the key signature for the section that you've highlighted. Okay, and there it is. Really simple, really easy, um, happy composing, happy transposing. If you liked this video, um, 
please give us a like. Um, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Um, if you'd like to um, make a donation uh, towards this channel, um, there's a link to buy me a coffee in the in the description below. Um, any questions, comments, or insult in the comments below. Um, this has been Music Hacks with Meg, and remember, work smart, not hard.